have been using Arch Linux for about 30 days, and I'm summing it all up in one video. Will I stick with Arch, revert to Fedora, or try another distro entirely? Stick around to find out. Okay, so if you haven't seen the original video, go check that out, link in the top right corner. But on first use, I noticed that Arch was really fast, way faster than Fedora was, and it was really smooth and snappy. One of the first things I did was, well, first customizing GNOME a bit with Blur My Shell and a more Arch-themed wallpaper, but another thing I did was install the Yay helper tool so I could use the AUR. I then noticed that the software center didn't have Arch repo packages or AUR packages. Although the AUR can't be added because it's not a Pac-Man repo, and the plugin required to use regular Arch repos was removed due to being able to break the system by uninstalling apps or upgrading them offline. I also had another problem. The Videos app, also known by its real name, Totem, wouldn't play any videos. At first, I thought codecs were the issue, so I installed all the codecs, but Totem still didn't play any videos. Later on, I got the audio to play, once, on one of the videos, but there was still no video. I've always had some sort of problem with Totem on any Linux distro, but this time it was basically useless, so I installed a video player called Celluloid, and it worked. Although, later down the line, Celluloid had its own problems, which I'll get to later. Flatpak was pre-installed and Flathub repos were enabled out of the box, which was great, but also interesting since Arch is known for having almost nothing installed out of the box. Now if you watched my original video, you know that I used Arch Install, which is an easy-to-use text-based installer made by Arch. I don't know if it's Arch Install that installs Flatpak and enables Flathub out of the box, which it probably is, or a normal installation thing as well, although I doubt it. Regarding stability, in my experience so far, Arch was even more stable than my previous experiences with Ubuntu and Fedora. Also, regarding package managers, Pac-Man has different commands than the other package managers, but it didn't take much time getting used to them. I used Arch for about two weeks at that point, and it was a joy to use. One thing I tried to do was install Pamac from the AUR so that I could graphically manage more packages. I first typed sudo yay install pamac, but that didn't work, so I typed sudo yay dash s pamac, and that worked. I was then given a yes or no prompt every two minutes, although there was usually more options than just yes and no. A few prompts in, I was asked if I also wanted to install snapd, and I'm personally a fan of snaps, so I said yes. The first few prompts were simple, but then I immediately got confused and lost, and ended up just entering whatever it selected by default. It compiled a bunch of stuff, gave me a few more prompts, and then deleted everything it compiled and installed, presumably because I chose the wrong option in one of those prompts. I tried recreating this situation, and actually successfully installed Pamac. As you can see, here it is, running perfectly. A member in my Discord then recommended an extremely customizable GNOME extension that lets you customize the top bar. This extension is called Open Bar. I installed it, and this is by far one of my favorite GNOME extensions. I customized it to isolate the activities, date and time, and quick settings buttons into these cool pill-shaped islands you can see here, and I think it looks really good. I also installed the Edwai to GTK3 theme so that all my apps have a consistent look. Then one day, I was editing a video for my second channel, Ninja Tux, where I do unscripted distro reviews and Linux gaming content with my friend, and I ran into extreme lag just playing my clips. As you can see, it got to the point where it would take a whole minute just to play one of my clips. Other than that, I didn't have any problems, but then two days later, I ran into this. Okay, so I'm having a problem that I had in Fedora, where the mouse cursor just jumps around uh, without me even touching it. And so, I don't quite know what causes this, I'd have to look into it more, but it is pretty annoying. Um, and in Fedora, I think I fixed it by just using the mouse, but um, I'm not quite sure what causes this. It's definitely not a very fun issue to have. 
Okay, so after the computer was cleaned, um, it seems that, um, physically, it seems that I don't have that issue anymore. I'm just moving my cursor, and it's moving normally. So, um, if I can look here. So, I don't know if that was just a physical issue or a software bug, but it was probably a physical issue. And things went pretty smoothly until I ran into another problem. So, as of recently, I've been having this weird issue, like as of, what, two days ago, where I would just leave my computer to go do something, and instead of suspending, it would log me out. So, this is a strange issue. And then I have to log back in, reopen the apps. Uh, if I have unsaved work, that is a problem. So, that is another strange issue that um, I've been having with Arch, and hopefully I can get that resolved. I did some more research, and it seems that GNOME Shell may be crashing for some reason, which logs me out. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find a fix for this problem, but it could be because of the open bar extension. After that, things again went pretty smoothly, until I ran into yet another problem. Arch will also have these moments sometimes where it completely freezes, as you can see, like... Nothing's happening, it's just completely frozen. So this happens sometimes, I just can't do anything at all. And this time it's for a more prolonged period of time, so that is strange. Um, hopefully I can find a fix for this, but that is another problem that I've had, although it's pretty rare, it doesn't really happen often. I then customized Open Bar to have more of a light theme look, because I personally prefer light themes, and this turned out looking really nice in my opinion. Also, Celluloid just stopped playing audio, so I replaced it with another video player called Clapper, which worked just fine. Now, I waited like a week to update Arch, since I was busy with other things, and one of my worries regarding Arch was waiting a while to update, because that can break Arch. And Arch isn't perfect. Being a rolling release distro, things are expected to break at least a few times. But in this particular instance, I updated, rebooted, and everything was completely normal. So stability has been mostly perfect so far. Arch has been an awesome distro for me, but it's not very beginner friendly. It requires more terminal knowledge than most other distros, the package manager is a little different compared to those found on other distros, security modules like SE Linux or AppArmor are not pre-installed, the webcam didn't work, and there was some minor inconveniences, like having to install certain codecs to watch videos, not being able to graphically toggle Bluetooth because you have to first enable it through the terminal, although you only have to do that once, but things like that. That being said, I consider myself an intermediate Linux user, and for me, Arch got things done, and it got things done easily. So overall, awesome distro if you're an intermediate or advanced user. Now for the final question. Will I stay on Arch? No, because I am now going to be using different Linux distros for 30 days each to expand my Linux knowledge and experience and share it with you, the viewer. Subscribe if you like my content and join the Penguin Byte Discord community with the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.